Welcome to the Miracles and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development, today, 27th May. Today's level of explanation really teaches us about how to handle anger and frustration. At the Miracles and Science Transformative Center, we transform your life for the better. So it above life's problems in healthy, in relationships, in finances, in education, and in general well-being. Join any of our life transformative programs by visiting www.transformativecenter.com What it tells us is that in most times we find ourselves in situations of anger, in situations of frustration. When that happens, it is not good to let that kind of situation persist on us for a long time. Actually, this lesson tells us that we should be able to only hold it for 30 minutes. So if you find yourself in a situation of anger, use it as a timer or an alarm for 30 minutes. Cry, shout, do whatever you can, and when the timer goes off in for about two, 30 minutes, go on as business as usual. Also, we feel that the holding anger and frustration for a long time is not recommended by science because it risks pressure, it risks headache, and so many other diseases. Actually, anger and frustration science has found that it triggers a certain type of hormone which has an effect on our bodies. And actually, also the Bible in Ephesians 4.26 tells us that you not allow a day to go when you still hold the anger. So all those really tell us that it is not good to hold the anger, but even within our cardinal sins, the seven of them, one of them is anger, or something people call it wrath, it is not good at all. So this little reflection for today, it teaches us that we should be able not to hold anger for a long time. Just hold anger for about 20 minutes and go on as business as usual. This has been our daily lesson for today.